What's going on guys, it's ZTA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to take a look at the new A-Box Raspberry Pi 3B Plus kit available on Amazon. Now I usually buy can of kits when I need to build a little system for somebody. And recently we moved into a new neighborhood and I'm trying to build a system for my neighbor. So I went searching on Amazon and I found the A-Box kit. It contains everything that the can of kit contains, but it's $5 cheaper. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'm just gonna see what comes in here. I usually don't do unboxings on kits like this, but since this is a new one, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. If you're just getting started with the Raspberry Pi, I always recommend a kit of some sort that comes with everything you need. This one comes with everything except for a keyboard, mouse, and a display, but this will get you up and running. Inside of the box, we have a quick start guide, shows you how to install the operating system, connect to Wi-Fi, change your language, it's laid out pretty well, and it should be easy to understand for pretty much anybody. I also have a little gift card deal. Warranty card slash gift card. Not sure what that's about. Here's the Raspberry Pi 3 B+. This is the newer Raspberry Pi 3 on the market. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core CPU, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 2.4 slash 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and sort of gigabit Ethernet. It's not quite gigabit, but it's a lot faster than the old Raspberry Pi 3. Got a couple more boxes in here. See what they contain. So it looks like one of these is the power supply and the other one is the case itself. Let's go ahead and open up the power supply box. Should have a couple extra goodies in here also. So I always end up buying a kit when I'm doing a full build for somebody. It just makes it easier on me. We got an HDMI cable. I believe this is three foot. I don't think it's a six foot cable. It should definitely sit by the TV and plug in just fine though. Micro USB, five volt, 2.5 amp power supply for the Raspberry Pi. It does have a little button on it. I don't usually recommend pressing this to turn your system on and off. Some people love them, some people hate them. Looks like it's using a pretty thick gauge of wire here. Should be just fine for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. We also get a tiny USB slash USB Type-C micro SD card reader. I'll probably hold on to this because I don't have a USB Type-C micro SD card reader. I'll swap this out with one of my old USB micro SD card readers. And here we have a Samsung 32 gigabyte Evo micro SD card. Now I know a lot of these kits use fake SD cards. If this one's fake, they did a great job in cloning it. You can usually tell by the printed label on the front and the back. This looks like a real legitimate Samsung SD card. And finally, we have some heat sinks here. Looks like we have one that's aluminum, one that's brass, and one that's copper. Not exactly sure. I'm going to take a look at them real quick. Copper for the CPU. Definitely copper. Here's aluminum for the Ethernet chip. And I believe this is brass. This would be for the RAM chip on the bottom of the board itself. Not exactly sure if it's brass or just a colored metal. Either way, it should pull some heat from that chip. All three of these heat sinks do have thermal adhesive strips on the back. You're just going to peel it off, place it where you need it. And finally, we have the case. Now this is the exact same case that comes with the Canakit products. You'll see these all over. I actually really do like them. They're plastic, they're labeled inside. No screws are necessary to hold this together. You're just gonna pull the bottom out. You place your pie in there. Inside of here, it's marked. Camera port, GPIO, HDMI, audio. Very easy to set something like this up if it's your first time messing around with a pie. So overall, this is a great starter kit here. Everything looks really good. It doesn't come with a keyboard or a mouse, or if you're gonna be using this with RetroPie, you'll need a controller and a monitor or some kind of display. Everything else here is included. You can install RetroPie, Raspbian, Laka. There are tons of operating systems for the Raspberry Pi, and every other month, a new OS is released. If you're interested in picking up a kit like this, I'll leave links in the description. I find it a lot easier just to buy a kit when I'm doing a project for somebody so I don't have to go through and order eight different things on Amazon and hope they get here at the same time. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.
If you're just getting started with the Raspberry Pi, make sure you check out my channel. I have tons of videos on how to install different operating systems, especially retro gaming operating systems such as Recallbox, RetroPie, Laka. Basically, if you need to know how to do something on the Raspberry Pi, all you need to do is type it in the YouTube search bar. Type in ETA Prime, what you need to know, and I probably have a video on it.